Hey there, welcome to Savory Saver, where I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. Today, I've got a gluten-free chicken casserole recipe. It's gluten-free nacho chicken. This casserole is easy to make, so let's jump right in and get started. So let's get started making our casserole, and the first thing we wanna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So I've got that turned on. And this casserole makes an eight by eight. And if you have a larger family and wanna make a 13 by nine, you would double all the ingredients and that would make enough for a 13 by nine. So the first thing we wanna do is put some cooking spray in here, whichever you prefer. This is just canola or veg this is canola. You could also use vegetable spray, avocado spray, coconut spray, whatever you like using. We're gonna put that off to the side. Now let's put everything together. So we want to start with about two cups of, of cooked chicken. And this is just from a roasted chicken that we made a few weeks ago that I had in the freezer. So this is kind of shredded, kind of cubed. So whichever way is best for you, go ahead and do that. We also want to use eight ounces of Velveeta, which I've diced up. And just cut that up as best you can. And then I did it pretty small because I want it to mix throughout the entire recipe. The next thing we want to add is half a cup of chopped onion. So that would be probably about a quarter of an onion to get yourself half a cup. And I just diced it really, really fine because I want to make sure it cooks up while it's in the casserole. I'm going to use one can of gluten-free cream of chicken soup. This is soup that I made, which is why it kind of comes out in that one clump. I will link to that recipe if you want to make your own. It's really easy. I tend to keep one or two in the freezer so we have it for recipes. But if you don't want to make your own, you can find gluten-free cream of chicken soup at Walmart in their gluten-free section. I've seen it at just about every Walmart I've been into. It runs about $1.50 a can, so look there in the gluten-free section. Next, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could probably use a clove or so of fresh if you wanted to. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper just a taste, but there's a lot of salt in all the stuff we're adding. So don't add too much. You can always salt a little bit at the end. We're gonna need a little more liquid in there. So for that, we are gonna add some, I'm adding mild salsa. You could add whatever heat you want, about two thirds of a cup. Got that in there. Let's give this a good mix. This is one of those casseroles that, like a lot of casseroles, doesn't look very good as you're mixing it together, but it's gonna taste good. All right, now that that's all mixed up, I'm gonna put that to the side for just a second because I wanna show you this. So we're also gonna put some of these in our casserole and they are nacho cheese Doritos to give us that nacho taste. So you want about seven ounces of Doritos that you wanna crush. And then we wanna take a cup of them and put them off to the side because we're gonna put that on the top of the casserole. I just use a potato masher. Doesn't have to be super small. You just want it small enough that it's gonna mix in and cover. And guys, part of this is Doritos and part of this is great value. They are actually marked gluten-free. This is the Walmart brand. The Doritos are not marked gluten-free, but my wife doesn't have any issues with them and there's not any ingredients in there that bother her as far as I don't see any gluten things on it. It does contain milk, um, but they don't bother her. So if they bother you, maybe you add some regular tortilla chips that are crushed up with some taco seasoning. That would be a good substitute for this. 
So we're gonna take most of those chips and get those mixed in. Once those are mixed in, we wanna put it in our casserole dish. Smooth it all out as best you can. Get it all in there. Once everything's in there, we wanna sprinkle our reserved Doritos over the top. And guys, that is it. It's ready to go. Once that oven's preheated, you wanna cook it for 30 minutes and it should start bubbling around the edges. And once it does that, it is ready to go. So let's go ahead, pop this in the oven, and once it's done, we'll give it a taste. Okay, our gluten-free nacho chicken casserole is done. Took about 30 minutes to cook in the oven. Took it out of the oven. The chips have browned up a little bit, which is nice. I topped mine with a little bit of pickled jalapenos. Some sour cream would be good on this. Extra salsa or tomatoes. Let's give it a taste. So guys, that Velveeta is super creamy, of course. It's all melted all throughout. Nice and cheesy there. The chips on the top are crunchy, which is good because the ones inside added flavor, but they're not all that crunchy anymore. I don't think you need to add hardly any salt to this recipe. Uh, we added just a sprinkling, but between the chips and the condensed uh, cream of chicken soup, the Velveeta, it just doesn't need the extra salt. So go easy on that. And if you need a little bit at the end at the table, maybe put it on then. But I think it's got a good taste to it. It's nice that that chicken was already cooked for us. So we didn't have to deal with cooking that. So it came together in just a few minutes. Again, you can make your own condensed cream of chicken soup that's gluten-free, or you can go to Walmart or wherever and buy a can of it. Doritos are not marked gluten-free, but again, my wife doesn't have issues with them. But the Walmart brand is marked gluten-free. Those will be great for this recipe, especially since these are a dollar or so cheaper a bag. Guys, if you like this video, please give me a like down below. Leave me any comments below on what your favorite casseroles are that are gluten-free. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.